They made it impossible for me to do the rest of the reading and I've forgotten completely what it is. Um, quite literally you're looking at a thousand miracles and about 300 people controlled or buckled into my path or in a village in a matter of 40 minutes. So beyond belief. I mean literally cars are overhanging trailers hit me off. Time in black and blue, sexual, choking me with a catalytic converter, drains hit over, being coughed and sneezed at. They're literally going off the scale with it. This is probably the calmest it's been in that 40 minutes, this minute now while I'm speaking, doing this documentary. I've been trying many times to do it. I've forgotten what I need to say now. I can't remember what the clairvoyant said. There's about three or four other things that I needed to mention. They're just out of my head. And there's also been a few animal voice sounds as well. Not too bad. But uh, I'm trying to think which way to go. Because they keep on turning fucking cars into me every time I cross a road. So they're not coming out the road, they're cornering me, they're cutting me up. On the corner, they're coming up towards me. So, and then obviously he's stuck here as well, because the time in the car. Oh, they got this fucking movement around me, fucking buckled as fuck. Anyway, you're not going to break the circuit, you're never going to break it. However, the clairvoyant says if I get a partner or girlfriend or that Julia, whatever it is she predicts, she reckons that'll break the circuit of this criminal action being enforced on me, but how true that is I do not know, because clairvoyants only get information from spirits. I thought I'd add this to the clairvoyant reading, I've tried phoning up six different people to change my number, not one of those people can I get hold of. So I'm not in a very happy mood, because obviously I've got a structural force against me, and this structural force is not just heavy, they're absolutely pelting it at me. I mean this is heaviest as it's ever been. I mean, going back to, I'm trying to think of the year. Before the lockdown, these sellers were nasty. Now you could get like a day where it's really nasty. But then the next day or the day after or the week after or two weeks after, you'd get rest by from it. And it started to increase a little bit before the lockdown, a couple of years, three years before the lockdown, where you could get up to three days in a row which were like it. But you'd always have some leverage, um, relief with the... Um, extreme setups or the organised force that's being put against me where it would drop a little bit. When we come into the lockdown, these, just before we came into the lockdown, sorry, this organised force dropped in the year 2019. They're making the suggestion that I paid the price for crimes or sexual crimes, but these sexual crimes I'm being accused of doing are false. But at the same time, they were dropping the action. So, hang on a second. I'm trying, struggling to breathe. I had to stop the recording because I'm being choked out by a catalytic converter. I wish I could do just a clairvoyant reading without all this structural force around me where I've got to actually mention the negative fucking setups that's being organised around me because the government will want me fucking sexually destroyed and fucking hit off with my wrist fucking sliced with a creator god and fake fucking taken to pieces. They're also applying that they're going to fucking rip me to fucking pieces in my next life and apply and they're going to sexually abuse me as a baby in my next life and play about with me in a fireplace with poker sticks before killing me in the fucking flames. That's the way they work, that's their suggestion if it is being caused by them. Whatever's causing it, whether it's a creator god or whoever is making these suggestions, so it's definitely a nasty fucking source of where this action is coming from. Um. I'm struggling to fucking do anything because of the traffic. It's calmed down a bit. I'm obviously on the road, but I'm trying. I can't hear when the traffic's occurring. That's the problem because it's just absolutely hammering. I mean, this road I'm on. You're not supposed to have traffic on here hardly. None at all. Right. So going back to what I was trying to say is the year before we went into lockdown, all this action dropped. I even walked into sexual-looking people, and I also walked into people in their early twenties. Was in sexual relationships with men in their early 40s. 
obviously I'm coming up 44 but um, you know it's, in some ways it's not too late but for it, it, it is I don't know it's hard to say you get about one and about 10 million that will accept the age gap that's it and that's what I was probably walking into back then during the lockdown I was walking into Gemma I was saying alright to Gemma but when I phoned at that time obviously hell broke loose with violence and murder and involving the police was suggested with shouting aggressively down the phone at me to tell me that I'm a sick cunt because of the age gap and the fact that she doesn't know me properly even though she's the same age gap as my parents when they were together if I was to go with her but obviously she's one of those types that doesn't allow more than a two year age gap but anyway as soon as we came into the, out of the lockdown back to normal reality I started walking to, into a specific type of person and these specific types of people give me threats all the time it's the people that have this accent I will, I'll fuck you, I will have him, I'll fucking have him I will fucking, I'll both beat him, I'll fucking beat him, I'll fucking shoot him I'll fucking kill him you know it's that sort of accent they're the types of people that start on me all the fucking time the bearded type people or people with that accent if it's a druggy type perhaps accent like this well yeah man oh, blah, 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 I don't get trouble but you know it's, we're in a different time you know and uh, people with my accent don't start on me people with calm accent but as soon as you get that dry and sarcastic accent I posed as like just now I get started on them all the time persistently 24 7 anyway when we came out of the all the lockdowns I've started walking into these types of people which are my ex-mugger Dan the Morgans looking types of people and accents believe it or not they want to cause those types of people in my direction but anyway getting out of that as soon as we came out of the lockdown they stepped and rigged up all this action against me four times heavier every single day right till this day basically than it was than it uh, has ever been before so it's more like those special days where it was really bad before the lockdown but this organized force is a lot more heavier than it's ever been before ever you know when I went to go to Bridgewater Court and when I went to the police station where it was set up heavy but take those occasional days out the setups are much heavier than what they've ever been before before the lockdown and obviously when we had the lockdown before the lockdown sorry I was moaning about the, the you know the action being fucking heavy then but when we came out of the lockdown they caused every single day to be four times more inconvenient and heavier than what it's ever been before so basically at the moment I'm on a country lane, a back road a road where you don't expect to see any vehicles at all believe it or not so I'm actually there um, so since July this year 2024 um, they've stepped up all this action to cause everybody's movement around me trying to get everybody from every house every car every person on the path constructed around me to cause as much fucking shit stirring and as much havoc and as much trouble as they can fuckingly possibly stir and also they're getting these violent types of people in my path controlling violent people in my direction so they can knock me off there's been many people photographing me if we go to the year 2022 I have mostly 40 people at least almost every single day of that year and it could be as high as 150 if not 200 people photographing, mis photographing me mistaking me as Seven. it was the same amount roughly for threats and the same for people sneezing in my face but sometimes it could be even higher than 200 it was very rare but it could be higher than that number on some days in 2022 on the worst of days this is being set up the nastiest has ever been but if you go back 
before July, when all this action increased and got maliciouser and nastier, much more ma violent, and um, making the suggestion we're knocking you off, we're hitting you off. They're making. Ma uh, that's why it's got to be suspicious as being caused, you know. They were making. They were basically timing localised to people who sexually abused me as a child and telling me that I'm a sick cunt if I look at someone that sexually abused me as a child because that person looks a bit younger than that person would be today, basically. And they're nailing me as a sick bastard over it. But at the same time, they're also timing localised to people who sexually abuse me as a child, tied to my willy shooting up. And, it's, and then you're getting a t-shirt saying, make love, not war, followed by another t-shirt saying, age is just a number, it's love that counts. And then you'll get another t-shirt saying, over 50 is too old, under 50 is fine. Take into account in just over five years I'm 50. So when these t-shirts are commercially worn and I reach that age, the, everyone's going to be brainwashed not to go with people over the age of 50. And I'm going to be 50 and I've not had sex in my whole life apart from being sexually abused as a child. The next thing that they've been doing this year, before July, was timing it look like someone who sexually abused me as a child. Not only were a baby being bounced about in a fat person's belly, a little tiny baby on a sling in a where a someone's jumping about, causing the baby to bounce about, uh, where the baby's laughing and the person's laughing or whatever, but they're now timing spill your guts or making the suggestion get that fucking gut out of you, you know, enjoying sex. But after the um after Labour got in power in the main election in as the main government in the UK and Liberal Democrats. There's something I just want to quickly mention. The Liberal Democrats they were there was a load of signs up saying vote Liberal Democrats and they were timing this van saying ripping you to pieces which is a paper shredder stationary van which is occurring every time I was walking past or passing a sign saying vote Liberal Democrats win in here and it turns out true they do win the election and that van was almost every other day was being timed on purpose that person who was driving that van wasn't doing it on purpose it was just coincidence but it was occurring most times and now it's only about once a week or once two weeks or whatever so you know they're really stepping up this action. They're making it clear they want me hit off. So this is why I've got to be suspicious that it might not be the Creator God. But it's got to be looked at as coincidence because I can't find the, the um, what's causing it. You know, there's no. That you don't know who's doing it. You don't know if it's the Creator God, or whether it's being caused by an organisation. But either way, this was going on when I was a child. Um, but it wasn't until about 2001 they started turning the music industry against me and when they released Lady Gaga Just Dance in 2007 or 2008 this is where they stepped up all this action against me but at the same time they were doing that they uh, had the Fathers for Justice event where they had the scaffolding up around mine to put new windows in they took the CCTV camera down because it broke and they didn't bother to replace it for months and months and months and months they opened the Palace nightclub and the Squib pub, but because people knew what was going on outside, even the rough community, it wasn't all one-sided. So some people were sticking up saying they're trying to hit him off and that's what they're doing. And then obviously the lighting system was down in the corridor where I was living as well. And because of that, I had to ask the Dandos if they could stay at mine on some nights because I was feeling very unsafe there. But uh, obviously that stopped and that's when uh, everybody was started to sort of argue with people because people were climbing the scaffolding because they wanted to kill me because of stuff that they made up which actually was in still in the time period when the Sadie threat came in the year beginning of that and obviously whatever happened they managed to keep you know everything was kept in order and there was no riots or anything like that and obviously you know it remained safe and no one got broken into no one got smashed windows no one got killed or anything like that but uh, it just goes to show what they're up to they've been trying to get rid of me since day one Mars pump up the volume um, it's a good track but the thing is it doesn't make a good suggestion with the uh, plural ex uh, you know plural suggestions because it's got um, 
it sounds like a saying this government's just turned on this music we're gonna get you government's just turned oh bloody it's just dead it's just dead history history this is gonna be the greatest record of the year Jackie's there Du, 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 du. Pump up the volume, pump up the volume, pump up the volume. Dead, dead. So it's a good tune, but it doesn't make a very good suggestion. Then you've got the A-Sides Murder, Time to Get Busy track. So basically it says, Murder, just, just, murder, just, time to get busy. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're causing everywhere to get busy, and they're causing as much havoc and as much mess as they can possibly cause in my direction, playing on A-Sides Murder track. That's certainly a track the government want to play on. They definitely need me rid of, hit, rid, hit off. So they, they're going to just pack it and pack it and fucking pack it. Very shortly I'm going to be coming back to the um, country lane. So this, what I'm on is like a country lane. But it's, it's one of those roads where... Well, it's basically you shouldn't have traffic at all. It's, uh, it basically goes nowhere. <laughs> but um, we're near enough nowhere. But as I was saying... When you consider the amount of action that the uh, whoever's causing it is, is stepping up on me, then it makes sense why it's as busy as hell. You know, even on the roads where you can hear no traffic hardly, they're just making it as busy as hell. Even a dead end, there were time people, bikes, even cars, you know, every time, not just once. And if we go to Barrack, when I was walking Barrack, we go back about five weeks ago and before, Ah, hang on. Hang on. That choking by a bloody catalyst is very bad. But if we go back before that time period, fucking hell down in street. This is why they put it on a car to do it on purpose because they're fucking turned against people. They want rip people, people, people. Fuck's sake. Yes, it's very gassy. Um. I've lost what I was going to fucking say now. I've got to stop the recording. Right, so I'm on a country lane. Now, obviously, a country lane like this, this specific road, there shouldn't be any any vehicles. Obviously, it's just a normal-sized country road, but you know, it's uh, it's a big road. Obviously, it's um, but it's one of those roads. <sighs> I'll you're not supposed to have hardly any traffic on it, basically. Since all this has gone into all the setups of today, I might as well uh, mention the setups uh, this morning. Right, so to start with, right, hang on, hit your bum hole bike. Hang on a second. They don't, they don't let go of it. It's not only a one-time flow bike, but. Yeah, they're not going to stop it. They want me destroyed, you see. God or the government or whoever's causing it wants me destroyed. Right, so going out this morning was uh, to says, suggest you're having a robbery. Robbery looking robbery. Robbery and starting cheering about the robbery. To apply robbery. And sexual cars. And black and blue and knife shaped and gun shaped. Bikes to erections, wording on vehicles. I can't remember what the wording is. But um, they were also taking the piss which will offend my father if I say what the names are on the, the vans that were occurring this morning. So, get past that, moderately heavy, so I've known it worse. Um, get on the bus, and it's happened about 40 times. Um, spit talking, or sneezing or coughing or whatever's landed up all over my face. And I'd not had anything to wipe it off with, and I've had to use sanitizer and water on tissue. Um, I was forced to the, uh, from two seats on the bus, and uh, automatically, like it's being controlled, the people nearest to me need to sneeze or cough as soon as I change positions, without them realising it, like it's like you've been hexed, basically. So, um, so that was that. Then they were timing vehicles to smash my head up and making the suggestion that, um, we're going to rip you off, uh, rip you to pieces, and do this and do that, basically. To cut a long story short, I'm going to have to stop the recording because there's too much traffic, it's uh, reoccurring.